Did you know that there are three fairly significant bugs here in GarageBand iOS in 2020? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down all three of them and let you know some workarounds to get you back to creating again. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And we are back here in GarageBand on the iPad or iPhone because there are three bugs that are affecting folks and they're creating right now. So let's dive in and take a look. Now let's cut to the chase. The three bugs we're talking about are related to saving to files, automation and background mode. And there's timestamps down in the description. So if you're having one of these issues, jump down there, you'll be able to find the right part of the video. And these bugs are all affecting iOS and iPad OS 13. So if you're using an earlier version, you may not be having these issues. And if you're in the future, hopefully they've actually fixed these in iOS 14 and above, you're not having these issues anymore. But if you are, let's dive in and take a look at what they are and what you can do about them. Our first bug is the save to files bug. And this has been bugging people for quite some time. Here's how it works. If you exit out of a project like this and you want to export this as a way file or an M4A, what you do is select in the top right, you tap on the project, you tap in the bottom left, and then you select a song file. You select uncompressed wave or whatever you want, you hit share, you get your share sheet here. But here's the problem, we've got no save to files. If you're using iCloud Drive, it won't have save to files. All you need to do in this case is hit open in, that will actually export the song. So if your save to files is missing and you're using iCloud Drive, that's the way to get to this screen and once this is finished exporting, I'll show you the next step. There we go. We now have the ability to save to files. So that used to be back on that first screen. Now it's here. We tap save to files. We can then export that WAV file wherever we want to. However, if you're on the iPad or iPhone location, things are a bit different. So let's show you that variation of this very interesting bug. So once again, in the first example, we were here in my iCloud Drive location. However, if you save your files on the on my iPad or on my iPhone location, it'll look a little bit different. Let's show you how that looks. We'll tap select and we'll select on this file. Now, if we tap share, and we tap song, we can now actually get to our files here. We tap share. This time, if we scroll down, check this out. We've got a save to files option, but let's take a look at exactly what happens if we do tap on this one and export our song directly. We'll let this one export, and then I'll show you what goes down. There you go. Everything looks good, right? Well, maybe. Let's tap on the save button there. Take a look at this. You can see there that we've got the autotune demo.wave, but it is this blank file, is this ghost file that doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't have the waveform there. And even if we jump over to files, it won't actually work. Let me show you that now. So we'll jump over to the files app just to show you here on my iPad, GarageBand. There it is. It doesn't do anything. We tap on it. It opens like that. We can't play it. We can't export it. We can't use it. It is a dud file. So if you're struggling with this, there's a very simple workaround, which I'll show you now. So back into GarageBand we go. This time we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select in the top right, select on that file, hit share, and then hit song. Hit the share button in the top right, and then you guessed it, we're going to use that mysterious open in function. This way it's going to export the song, actually create a real WAV file this time, and then we'll be able to save it to our files. Let's wait for this to export, and then I'll show you the next step. There you go. That looks a lot better now, doesn't it? So now we can just tap the save to files option there. We can decide where to save it here. We hit save, and we're going to replace that item because we don't want that ghost file anymore. Boom. There you go. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? We've actually got the file there. And if we flick over here and go into our files, we can see here that there is our proper WAV file. If we actually tap on that one, we're good to go. We can actually play this file now, no problems at all. When you open your eyes up. So there you go. The key here is to use open in. If you're having trouble saving your files from your GarageBand projects, use the open in function, then save to files. You'll be good to go. Bug number two is all about automation. And this is a more recent bug. It is affecting iPad Pros mostly, but I have had reports from folks having this problem with other iPads and even iPhones running iOS 13 variations here in 2020. So here is how it works. If you have a track like this base here, 
you tap on the base icon there, you go to automation. Sometimes when you slide on your automation and you add points and then you start moving these points around, you'll find that your garage band will crash and that will lose all of the work that you've done since last time you saved. Now let's have a quick revision on how we save a project here in GarageBand. So here is my GarageBand project. It will not save. There's no auto save. There's no fail save in GarageBand. You need to actually close the project by tapping in the top left. That saves the project. We reopen it by tapping and there you go. We're back in. So the golden rule is here. Before you do any automation at the moment, make sure that you've saved your project. Otherwise, you could lose all of that hard work that you've done. So here, let's now turn on here. We'll add in some automation. And if you want to learn about automation, there's a heap of videos here on the channel. Now, what can often cause this is when you've already got automation points. In fact, let's just move some of those points. So we've already got some automation points there and we come out of the automation. Now, what a lot of folks are actually reporting is that when they come in here, they go to automation and they just simply start moving these around before they've actually turned this on and done some points. That's where it's crashing. Of course, it's not crashing for me right now. It's like when you take your car into the, into the mechanic, it's not going to break for me now. But that's the one thing you can do. Try different variations. If you're getting it crashing when this toggle switch is in the red, turn it off before you make your moves. If it's doing the opposite, turn it back on. Sometimes software like this is a bit weird and it will just crash one way and not the other so trial and error is your friend here so there you go we'll do our variations there we'll move our automation around we'll hit done and then we'll hit save so if you're having this issue the workaround here is to make sure that before you touch any automation on your project, and this is a good tip for just generally, is if you've done a bunch of work here, because GarageBand has no autosave, tap in the top left to save out at least every 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure you don't lose any of that hard work. And then when you come back in, you can go back in, tap again, tap automation, and hopefully it's all gonna work. But if you get this rare and a bit weird automation bug where it crashes your entire GarageBand project, now you know why it's happening and what you can do to prepare for it and make sure it doesn't do too much damage. And bug number three is an annoying one. If like me, you record vocals and you like to have another app open in the background while you record your vocals because GarageBand has a very cool function. If we come up here to the settings in the top right and go down to advanced, we can actually have run in background mode on. So when that's off, it means that when GarageBand is playing or recording and another app is open, it'll stop recording, it'll stop playing. But if we enable run in background mode, there you go, it'll say we can use this in the background. And that means that if I have something in a different app, so if we swipe up here, I can go to a different app, I can go into my notes app here and load up my lyrics. And then if I wanna sing along, I can actually have my garage band running like this. I can be recording vocals on one track and then just come in here, flip up, and go over to here and be singing along and my garage band will be recording in the background. Let me just show you really quickly how that actually works. So say I want to record a vocal on this track. I'm just going to solo it here so that you don't hear all the backing tracks. But what I would do is I'd hit the record button there. I'd grab my mic. I'd start recording. You can see there that it's recording. And at the same time, I can actually flick over to here and open up my notes. And I could be singing, the earth is round. I can be doing my thing. And then when I've done singing, I can actually come back and flick over here to GarageBand. And look, it's still recording. We hit stop there. It hasn't recorded anything because I got no mic plugged in. But if I did, that would be recording. So background mode is super cool. And on most of your iPhones and iPads, it works fine. There are some iPads and you'll have to tell me in the comments if you're having this issue because I still haven't worked out exactly which ones it's affecting and which ones it's not. But on some models of iPads running some iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 variants, you're going to have this issue, which is that as soon as you switch away, it'll last maybe five, 10 seconds, and then it will cut out and it will stop recording. It'll stop playing back. It's a pain in the butt. Now, what can you do about this? Well, not really much, apart from maybe having another device handy that you can use to sing along to your vocals. So if you've got an iPhone and an iPad, put the lyrics on your iPhone. If you've got a PC or you know what, go old school, pen and paper, you could do it. Now there is a notepad function right here. There's a notes function in GarageBand, but here's the problem. If we go to use this, if we tap on notepad, we can uh, type in our lyrics there, we can paste them in, but there's no way to be recording while having those notes open. I know, I don't know why that is the case either. It would be super handy if you could just have that notepad open, hit record, 
and then actually be seeing your notes, but you can't. So there's no real workaround here if you're just using one device with GarageBand, but if you grab a second device, write it on some paper, you should still be able to be good to go. Now, hopefully this and all these other bugs will actually be fixed in iOS 14 or a future version of iOS. But for now, guess what? We are stuck with them. But hopefully this at least made you aware of what's happening. You can work around these. You can find ways to make sure that you don't lose your progress and that you can keep creating here in GarageBand.